hi welcome back now we are going to illustrate the scale on fruity loops and also the chord one all through to chord seven on fruity loops i'm going to right click insert um fl keys let's use fl keys for this purpose then we go to our piano roll now you can see on piano roll the keyboards here yeah, the black and white keys is being labeled already we have your c here yeah, your d here yeah, your e here yeah, f here yeah, g here yeah, a here yeah, your b here yeah, and your c here yeah. now in previous tutorial i told you that these black keys that they have names but i wouldn't want to go into them for now but you can see the names here the c sharp d flat f sharp g sharp a sharp um this is something we call accidentals accidentals is um uh, uh is a notation that affects the pitch of music we'll go into that later let's just neglect that for now um let's go back to scale i told you scale is a selection of certain notes and we talked about the major scale which has a tone tone semitone tone tone, tone semitone a tone means you leave the next note to go to the second note while a semitone means you go to the immediate note so if you start from c let's reduce our tempo so that we can listen to ourselves better uh, let's go with 90. now if i play this let me stretch it out to this point all of what i'm doing right now has been well explained in the production made easy um the fruity loose production made easy the beginner intermediary advanced so i'm sure you've watched that and understand that already so whatever i'm doing here you better understand it now let me go with this one the immediate notes to this will be this because um from your first note to your second note while playing the major scale you move by um, a distance of a tone so we have to leave a space there so I'll move it up so now this is a empty space that we will not play then from the second note to the third note still we will leave an empty note from the third to the fourth we don't leave a note because that is semitone so we have a tone here a tone here but a semitone here now from the fourth to the fifth it's also a tone so we leave this space out and make it smaller then from your fifth to your sixth note is also a tone we lift this space out we won't play anything there from your sixth to your seventh it's also a tone we won't play anything here then from here that's your seventh to your eighth or to your first which is an octave this you don't play anything in between it's a semitone so this is a tone a tone a semitone tone 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 semitone you can see for the tone you leave a space for the tone you leave a space for a semitone you don't leave a space for a tone you leave a space for a tone you leave a space for a tone you leave a space for a semitone you don't leave a space tone tone semitone tone 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 semitone so if you play it <laughs> so this is just the principle you use in playing this major scale on every other key Right now, I'm here to explain the other keys and how they um, affect themselves and how they relate with each other. Because when you look at these notes that I've played so far, I didn't press any black key. And it is only for the key of C that you play the major scale without touching a black key. On every other key, you must touch a black key. I told you there are 12 keys, but basically, we are still checking out the 7 keys for now. So, this is it. <laughs> So when you check the orange color here, you see that it is only the white keys that are being pressed. Now look at it. Now that's it for the representation of um, scales.